This video is on harder trigonometric equations. Now there's another type of trigonometric equation that you could be asked to solve in which a number is inside the trigonometric function and the approach to this is slightly different. So here's a question like this where we need to solve the equation sin of 2x is equal to root 2 over 2 where you can see that the 2 is actually inside the sin next to the x. So we cannot divide by 2 as to do this the 2 would need to be here. So the key to answering a question like this is to adjust the interval. So the interval is over here, 0 to 360, and this is with respect to x. But we want to make this with respect to whatever is inside the trigonometric function, which is 2x in this instance. So we have 0x 360, and the key is adjusting the interval to whatever is in here, in this case 2x. And the thing that we're going to do is we're going to change all the numbers by whatever we've changed x by. In this case, we've times it by 2. Clearly, we've um, times x by 2. So we need to times all the numbers by 2. So 0 times 2 is just 0. And 360 times 2 is 720. And all we're just going to do now is solve the problem like normal with this extended interval here, drawing the graph over this extended interval. So we're just going to do the same approach as we did in the previous video, where sin 2x is equal to root 2 over 2. So therefore, sin of minus 1, of root 2 over 2, if you put it into a calculator, is equal to 45. We're going to draw the graph, but we're going to draw it over the extended interval, so it is going to be quite long. This is y, this is x, and we're going to draw it to 720. like this. And we're going to say root 2 over 2, we'll say it's about here. And as we can see, there are four solutions. Okay, we know the first solution, this is just going to be 45, and from the previous video we talked about the symmetry of, dif of uh, distances, with the fact that the distance between this point and this point is going to be the same as the distance between this point and this point, and this distance is just going to be 45, we can easily figure out, and we know this here is 180, and as we know the distance is 45, 180 minus 45 is equal to 1, 3, 5, and that's this point here. We do the same logic, the distance between this and this is also going to be 45, and we know that this point is 360, so 360 plus 45 is equal to 405. This is this point here. And finally, it's the same distance here. This point here is 540. So it's going to be 540 minus 45 to get to this point, which is equal to 495. It is a bit difficult to know, uh, to remember these numbers um, here because they get quite big. Just remember it goes up in 180s like this. Okay, so now we've got all the solutions. So we're going to say now that 2 x, it's important that it's 2x here, what is in the sin, is equal to, and we've got the solutions, 45, 135, 405, and 495. However, this isn't the answer because you can see that we've got two solutions that are outside the original interval that we need. And the reason is because is we're doing this with respect to 2x, but we need to do this with respect to x. So we need to readjust to the interval by dividing by 2 in this instance, because it's 2x, so we need to divide everything by 2. So it's going to be x is equal to, and if you do all of this into a calculator, you've got to do it for every single one of the solutions, it is equal to 22.5, 67.5, Two hundred two point five and two hundred and forty seven point five. And these four solutions are the final answer. Now you can use your calculator by subbing these values into this to get out to root two, and you can do it for these last two as well in order to prove um, that these are a solution. So the method of adjusting the interval is really important because originally these didn't appear to be in the interval, but we have shown that they are solutions that are 
in the interval. And it's really important to do this because without this we wouldn't have got these last two solutions of adjusting the interval. And the reason we adjust the interval is if you remember how an inside the function squeeze works, this 2 here will squeeze the graph by 2 along the x-axis. So this is actually within the interval if we sketch this graph here. This would be in the interval of 0 to 360 if it's squeezed um, by 2 like it is. So the graph will actually look like this in the interval with the 360 over here. So this is an example specifically mentioned on the spec, so I just want to go through it really quick. So whenever you get an equation like this, you always want to rearrange it into the form cos of something is equal to a number. So that's what we're going to do. So it's 3 plus 5 cos of 2x is equal to 1, minus 3 from both sides to get 5 cos of 2x is equal to minus 2, divide both sides by 5 to get cos of 2x is equal to minus 2 over 5. And then we're just going to solve it. Remember, we need to rearrange the interval to 2x. So at the moment, it's minus 180. So x to 180. So divide. So we need 2x times both sides by 2. 180 times 2 is 360. So it's minus 360. 2x, 360. And then we can just solve it in this interval here. So firstly, the inverse cos minus 2 over 5 is equal to, if we put it into a calculator, 113.6. Now we're going to draw the graph in this interval here. And we're going to say that minus 2 over 5 is about here. And as you can see, there are four solutions. Okay, we know this solution, this is going to be the 113.6, and we need to find the distance between this and this, which is 90, so we actually need to find the distance this time, it's not um, straight away given to us. So it's going to be 113.6 minus 90 to find this distance, which if you put it into a calculator, that is equal to 23.6. Now we can use this for other distances. So it's the same distance here, this distance is 23.6, and we know this point here as 270. So this point is going to be 270 minus 23.6, which if you put into a calculator, it's equal to 246.4. This here is minus 90, so to find this point, it's going to be minus 90 minus 23.6. Be careful with the sign here, remember that it's going this way. Minus 90 minus 23.6, if you put into a calculator, is equal to minus 113.6. And then this here is minus 270. We need to find this point. So this is going to be minus 270 plus 23.6, which if you put it to a calculator, is equal to minus 246.4. So these are the solutions. I would underline these solutions to not get confused that this is the solution, this is the distance. So remember 2x, 2x is therefore equal to 246.4, 113.6, minus 113.6, and minus 246.4. And all we just need to do now is divide all of the solutions by 2. So x is equal to 123.2, 56.8, minus 56.8, and minus 123.2. And again, you can check your answers by putting these solutions into this equation and seeing that it gives out 1. The logic of changing the interval also works for translations. So here's another question specifically mentioned on the spec where they want you to solve the equation sin of x plus 70 is equal to 0 0.5. So again, we alter the interval in the same way this interval here with respect to x plus 70. So the current interval is 0 to x to 360. So we change this interval to x plus 70, and this means we add 70 to all of the numbers. So 0 plus 70 is 70, and 360 plus 70 is 430. And therefore we just solve the equation within this interval. So it's sin of x plus 70 equal to 0 0.5 and the inverse sin of 0 0.5 is equal to 30. 
Now, one thing that can happen with translations, and has happened in this case, is that 30 is not actually in this range. So 30 is not actually a solution to this equation. However, we can still use 30 because it's used in the symmetry of distances, but it's not a solution. And this often, this can sometimes happen with translations, and you need to be careful with it. But we're still going to use it. So we're going to draw the graph in the interval, but we're not going to draw it between 70 and 430 because that's quite a complicated and drawing a weird interval like that. Um, you, you just don't want to do it. So we're just going to draw it between 0 and 540 and just note that we're not interested in the whole area. There might be some areas that are off limits. So let's draw the graph. This is y and this is x. I'm going to do it between 0 and 540. like this and let's just note that there is kind of like an area where it is out of our limits we're not going to draw a line on because we don't really know where this line is but we need to check our solutions and make sure that they do fall within this interval here so let's say that 0 0.5 is about here and according to this we have four solutions however we already know that one of them which is equal to 30 is not in the interval so this is not a solution. But we know that the distance between this and this is the same as the distance between this and this, which is 30. So therefore we know this is 180, so therefore this solution is going to be 180 minus 30, which is equal to 150. And 150 is in this interval, so it is a valid solution. For translations, check that quickly. So for this one, 360 plus 30 this time is equal to 390 and again quickly check that it's in the range and yes it is so that is another solution and the next one this is 540 so it's going to be 540 minus 30 which is equal to 510 but this is not within the interval so this is not a solution so this isn't a solution either so we only have two solutions remember it's x is equal to x plus 70 is equal to 150 and 390 and we do the same thing again where we minus 70 from all of the solutions so x is going to be equal to 80 and 320 and there are two solutions and this is the answer and again you can use your calc to check by subbing these values back into the equation and seeing that they give out 0 0.5 now there could be a question with an inside the function stretch and a translation. So here's a question like this where they want you to solve the equation 3x plus 45 is equal to 0 0.6. So normally the spec doesn't specify if AS students need to know this as well. As in the last chapter they specifically said that you won't need to perform multiple transformations on a graph but they say nothing about equations like this. So as they don't say anything I'm just going to assume that AS students also need to know this. But it's the exact same concept. The first thing we need to do is to change the interval with respect to 3x plus 45 so we're going to times it by 3 first because if we do the 45 and then times it by 3 we're also going to times the 45 by 3 so we're first going to times it by 3 which is going to be 3x this is still going to be 0 and this is now going to be 540 and then we're going to add 45 so this is going to be 45 this is 3x plus 45 and this is going to become 585. And now we're just going to solve it as normal because 3x plus 45 is equal to 0 0.6. The inverse cos of 0 0.6, if you put it into your calculator, is equal to 53.1, which check again because it's a translation, check that it is in the interval, and 53.1 is in this interval so it is a solution so now we're going to draw the graph now we're not again we're not going to draw it between 45 and 585 because that's just a really awkward interval instead we'll draw it between 0 and 720 let's say this is y and this is x and we'll draw it something like this like this up to 720 but remember that because it's 720 there might be some solutions that are outside our remit but we don't know where these lines are so we're going to have to check our solutions are in the interval okay so we'll say 0 0.6 is about here 
and as you can see there are four solutions. Okay, we already know this solution, this is the 53.1 and this distance here is going to be 90 minus 53.1 which if you put into a calculator is equal to 36.9. Okay, the distance between this point and this point is going to be 36.9 and this is 270, so it's going to be 270 plus 36.9 which if you put into a calculator is equal to 306 point nine which lies in the interval so that's okay and that's a solution and then this one is going to be 450 minus 36.9 which if you put into a calculator it's equal to 413.1 and that is also a solution and again it lies in the interval and this one is going to be 630 plus 36 which if you put into a calculator is equal to 666.9 but that does not lie in the interval so that is not a solution so therefore we have three solutions remember it's equal to 3x plus 45 3x plus 45 is equal to 53.1 306.1 uh, .9, sorry and 413 one. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to treat this like normal algebra. If you want, you can ignore all these and just treat it like 3x plus 45 is equal to 53.1. So the first thing we're going to do is minus 45 from all of them. So it's going to be 3x is equal to, and if you put this into a calculator, it's going to be 8.1, 261.9, and 368.1. And then we're going to divide everything by 3. And that means that x is equal to 2.7, 87.3, and 122.7. We have to do it in this order where we minus 45 first and then we need to divide by 3. Basically like normal algebra, because again, we divide by 3 first. We're also going to be dividing the 45 by 3 as well. So you minus the 45 first. Again, it's like normal algebra. 3x plus 45 is equal to 53.1. You're going to minus the 45 first. So just remember that. And again... These are the answers, and you can check these by putting it into this equation and showing that it gives out 0 0.6.